Hello, loves. I've got coffee for you. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. Or tea. If you want tea, that's what this is. I wonder what kind of tea you do drink. Let me know in the comments. Okay, I went to Walmart, and I will let's get through Walmart. I know you like the Walmart. I had to get Cran Grape, but this is so good. I love Conquer Grape. Oh. Remember getting those or taking a bite into them? I can have them. My teeth almost and my mouth almost go sour thinking about it. But Cran Grape. Good stuff. I didn't get a lot, but there were a few things that I needed to replenish. Got four of these. I tried another brand. I don't like them as well, so I went ahead. This is the Land of Lakes. I use this for my coffee. I use two in each of my coffee cups. And there's 24, so it lasts me six days. Yeah. It's good stuff. All of these I'll put in my overflow bin. Okay. I wanted this for a while because I have soup. I like to eat these with my soup. And I ran out a long time ago, so now I can start eating my soup again. I like the fresh stacks because I can just get one out and that's fine. And the rest, you know, they won't go stale on me. So I like these a little bit more expensive, but that's okay. And I do like this. It's a dollar seventy-eight for high C. It's a little treat. There's, I know there's a little bit of sugar in there. Actually, is how much sugar? They're only forty calories per box. Eleven grams of sugar. So there is sugar in here. But I don't really buy cakes, candies, or cookies anymore, and I don't really get sweet snacks. I haven't actually been you doing salty snacks either lately. And then I got, this is, this is um, canned chicken. It's 98 cents at Walmart. They usually keep a pretty good stock. It hasn't gone up in price yet and it's got the flip top. <laughs> so I'm, this is my lantern. Remember I reviewed it or at least featured it. I reviewed last video I reviewed the T2 and then I brought this out because they can work hand in hand. It does get a little warm, not bad. Let me turn this. Um, that would go medium. I had it on turbo. Mm, this is really good. So I, um, yeah. I got 12 of the chicken because what I like to do with the chicken is, let's show you. I drain a can of sliced carrots. I do like these. Flip top. I've noticed a lot of Walmart vegetables are no longer flip top. That kind of, mm, well, I can still use my can opener, but it is so convenient with this. But I will add chicken to this. I just put it in a bowl cold and put some ranch dressing in it. It is a really nice treat. And I also got some cut green beans. I got four of these. I like the little can. They were 46 cents. I probably could have got a bigger can for 50, but um, this is the right size for me, actually. And then I got a can of pinto beans. I like to add these to my uh, tostados and put on a tostado and then a crispy tostado, put it in, put some cheese on it, put it in on the microwave in Paul's van and then uh, put some beans on it and put it in the microwave after I put some beans on it. And then you can put like salsa, tomatoes, even some lettuce. Oh, so good. So I did get 12 of the chickens and a lot of times what I do if I'm still hungry like 
around like 536, I can just open up a can of these and drain it and just eat it right out of the can. They're just bites of chicken and it's good protein. For me, that's a good snack. What else did I get? Oh, I got, got a head of cabbage. Here you go, 58 cents a pound. And I'm gonna fry some of this up. Put some butter on it, salt, pepper. Well, maybe add a cup, made some chicken to it too. But I thought cabbage sounded really good. I did look up, um, cabbage is a cruciferous vegetable. It can make you very gassy, but it has such good qualities. They're doing a lot of research on cruciferous vegetables now uh, for cancer, um, aiding in the prevention and the cure of cancer. Cruciferous vegetables include Brussels sprouts, broccoli. There were a bunch of them that I was surprised were cruciferous uh, vegetables. Cabbage and uh, bok choy, Chinese uh, cabbage, um, things like that. Yeah, I got, I actually like this now. It's called triple cheddar. It's really good. It's a lot better than just plain old cheddar. I do normally like extra sharp cheddar. Now, I got one of these complete. Have you ever had one of these? They're really, really good. It doesn't require refrigeration. So there's probably a lot of preservatives in it, but for every once in a while, it's okay. I used to take these with me when I worked at Amazon. They're only $1.98. You need a microwave with them, but there is a microwave in Paul's uh, Ram, uh, High Top Pro Master. And so we both got one of these and I was telling him about the chicken Alfredo. It is so good. This was my go-to, but they have all kinds of flavors. So I think for $1.98 for a, for a good meal, it's pretty good. Now I got some Heinz 57. I love this sauce. You can do a lot of different things with it. You can maybe uh, put a few, um, like a little bit into your chicken. My, my chicken, um, you, you can do a lot of things with this. So I do have the A1 sauce, which is owned by Heinz and this sauce here. So I did get a comb. Now this is, I'm going to start wearing my, um, remember I got the four wigs. Well, I'm going to start wearing my wigs just a little bit more, kind of um, cover up my hair just a little bit, get some new styles going on. But I did need a comb. I was going to order one from Amazon and it would have taken two weeks. Well, I got this at Walmart for $3. What up? One, one more bag. I love me Roman tomatoes. I go through these. I put them in salad um, and sometimes just slice them up, quarter them up and dip it in ranch dressing. Yummo. It's just, I like these. These are very flavorful. And this whole bag is only $1.88. Enough said, huh? Got a cucumber. So great, just to slice up and dip in ranch or put these in a um, in the salad. Now I have been getting these red potatoes and for, for four minutes, what I do is I wash it, pierce a couple little holes with a uh, knife in it. If you really wanna make it nice, put a little oil on the outside and then put them in the microwave. One is for about four minutes, two probably about six minutes. You have a nice hot potato. I really enjoy that. I used to do that when I lived in the house and now that I have access to a microwave, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Different foods, I've really been experimenting with different foods, potatoes. I'm partial to red potatoes because they hold their substance. I'm not, I, I don't mind a russet potato, but they're more for like baked potatoes if you want to like put sour cream and butter in them. But these with red potatoes, when I made soup living in a sticks and bricks, I always used to red these red potatoes because I knew that they wouldn't just cream up and disappear. They would hold their, their form inside of the soup. Because sometimes, I mean, I would uh, shimmer the soup for a couple, three hours these extra. I keep these uh, produce bags. They fit very well in my little 
a garbage container. I just put a little knot on it. It fits very well. Might as well use them up. Well, I believe that's it for my Walmart. Well, I put my groceries away the best I can. I'm kind of overflowing on a few things, but that's okay. But I've got some packages. So I'm going to open these, okay? Okay. There we go. Okay. Got my trusty knife. Cut these open. <laughs> I actually took a peek. I couldn't imagine. Um, it's easy to do my packages now because my daughter's here and I can send them to her home. And she keeps them for me. She's always like, Mom, what are you buying all this stuff? Yeah. Well, this is Hope Shine Sport and Outdoor Home and Kitchen. Wonder what these are. Let's see. I know what these are. Let me get the scissors. Calls for scissors to keep them right there. Okay. I need new scissors. These are pretty dull. Okay. It's out. <laughs> Look at that. They're arm guards. This one. Where is it? Let's see. A hole in it. Yeah. So, and I do like to wear black. I only had one black pair. I had like purple and lavender and blue and white. I didn't like the white. The white turned gray really fast. So I got four. Now, <laughs> a lot of people say, why do you wear these? Well, I've explained. So if you've been watching me and you're my friends, you're my loves, uh, you already know. I'm trying to protect my hand on my arm from the sun and from bumping. I bruise easy, but I'll tell you what, this is really healing nice. Probably a little whiter than this, but I'm keeping the sun off of this because if you, I mean, if you think logically, we can, we wear short sleeves or we wear this or we live, wear long sleeves. But for the most part, we're either here or here. Well, this is out in the sun way too much and you can get sun damage. So, and I think they look kind of cool. They just sort of look like opera glasses a little bit, but this way you could wear this and wear a short sleeve shirt and it would still keep you warm if you just want to wear your long sleeve, uh, short sleeve shirt still. And a lot of guys wear these too. I see these out and about. So these are called arm gaiters, arm protectors. If I'll leave the link in the, uh, it's in the video description, but I'll leave it in the comment and I'll pin it to the top. I'm so glad I got four pair of these now. I'm so glad. Yeah. Not expensive, like $11 for four pair. So yeah. Let's just say the hope. The Hope Shine brand has been registered in Europe and the United States. We are committed to creating a brand that will satisfy customers. Yes, it is high quality microfiber. It, these really are high quality. Let me see. Yeah, these are, I think these are the same. Yeah, Hope Shine, it's got that little thing. But you know, I've had these for what now? Three years, two years, oh, probably two. These lasted two years wearing them all the time. And I wore my black ones a lot. It's probably why the ones that got ripped were the black ones. So, okay, this is but one product. Let's 
see what else I got. Now we come up with the knife. I look fierce, don't I? I'm not. <laughs> Oh, I know what this is, yes. Real mayonnaise. I'll tell you why I got these again. We would, um, Paul and I would buy, because we're using his ice chest. He doesn't have a 12 volt refrigerator yet, but we've discussed that, oh my gosh, he better get some solar on the top of his Ram high top, because it's, it's getting, um, it's getting a challenge to keep the Okmo 2000 and 1000 powered up so to use the microwave. Now, if you're gonna add a 12 volt refrigerator on there, oh my gosh, no. Um, well, sometimes the ice goes a little bit low and we've got a little thing of mayonnaise in there. I don't trust it. I just don't trust it. So I said, I'm gonna go back with using the mayo packets because I like mayo a lot. I mean, I want my mayo. I want my mayo. Now, I'll show you, it's a whole box of these. I'll have to put it in the, um, my overflow. Yeah, look at that. Whoops, they're escaping. Yeah, but I'm glad I have these. These will last me, I think the last time I got these, I could also check to see the last time I bought these. Um, these will last me about six months, maybe seven. Seven, eight months, yeah. So, I got my mayo. Let's see what this is. Well, it's made in China, whatever it is. start wearing my wigs there was it was really hard to comb them out and get them ready to be worn hey Cindy yes I'm getting ready to wear my wigs again she's the one that got me she sold them to me um, we had that fun doing wigs well I got myself a stand so that I could sit here and do it um, what we've been doing is Paul and I've been going to a church it's like a it's Assembly of God Church and it's like great music and you can worship and you can um it's just a lot of fun to go to this church i would usually go to it when i was in tucson and he loves it too now um here in tucson hobo joe is with us and she, we're all three going to get gussied up and we're going to church tomorrow and i want to wear my wigs again so but i needed a stand but i needed one that was portable one that I could take down and put away when I'm not, when I don't want to do a wig, but I do need something. Let's see how this is. This is like a lace thing over it. It said that it was non skid. We'll see. Um, let's see how this goes. No instructions. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so okay, so this okay, see this I could easily take apart when I'm finished. Now here I can extend it up if I I think oh see this goes up or down depending on how high I want it. 
Oh, yeah, this has to fit in here. But this will be easy to take down when I'm done. Because I don't want this to be setting up all the time. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then I can put this on. And then I could sit here and I could do it while I'm in here and get my wig done. Yes. And then I did get this. Let's open this. Pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to wear this again. There's Hobo Joe. Oops, don't go anywhere. Okay, it looks like, looks like I gotta go with the scissors. It's an Ace. Ace, Ace is a good brand. And then, um, is this the right one? Uh, okay, it's not. It's metal, but and then you can kind of like work it. You don't ever want to comb a synthetic wig out all the way. To, um, Cindy said, right, Cindy, that it could ruin it. So at least I can sit here and I can get it just the way I want it. And then um, when I'm ready, then I can just put it on. So there's my wig stand. Easy to take down. Yeah, just... There we go. This looks like it'll fit right in there. There, three pieces. And I think I'll keep this bag for it, yeah. And that I could take right out. So I can put this right in here. Okay. So now I've got wig stand, easy portable. You know, a lot of us are wearing wigs now. They're fun. Some of us have to wear wigs and some of us just want to. It looks different. It's a different look. It's like um, a new hairdo, right? Okay. I'm getting overtaken by boxes. Let's see what else. Okay. More wig stuff, guys. I'm sure you're just loving this one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, guys wear toupees, don't they? This is a grip. It's a scarf and wig grip. You put this on and it will grip. I didn't know it's for scarves too. That's a good idea. Yeah. Because I do, you know, I do wear scarves and there's two of them in here. Yes. Hey, Cindy. I know. Um, Actually, Cindy, I'll leave the link for that. Cindy does have a wig channel, a YouTube wig channel. Yes. And then I got some caps for the wig. For the wig. Yeah, when that, these weren't exit. I think there were like, said there were six of them. Wait a minute. One, two, two, three. I wonder if there's wonder if there's two in each. Let's see. I thought there were six of them. There might be two in each of these. Don't want to cut it. They're caps. So you can put that over your hair. So your hair won't escape. Oh, no. There was only... Yeah. There's two in each. So there are... This is a wig cap. Cool. We'll see how it looks. I think I, what I'll do is I'll take each one of these and take the cardboard out. Yeah. I try to get rid of as much as I can so I don't have a lot of, you know, like, I don't like anything extra in. And then we'll take these out. I'll just put them in my a little baggie. Yeah. 
They feel soft. But I, you know, I found that it was hard without a good mirror. I only had this one um, little mirror. It's like a Coglin. I bought it. They're so cheap. But I do hang it there. And it's kind of hard to really do your hair well. That's why sometimes I just put it up in the ponytail as a nomad. I just put it up in the ponytail. Or I go outside and I braid it. I can look in the window and I braid my hair. You do want simple, simple outfits, simple hairdos when you're nomad. Or you can just go, if, I, if you have a Planet Fitness, like here in Tucson, I have access to like five really nice Planet Fitness. Oh, and by the way, I'll tell you, they're back putting the flowers in Tucson. I've never seen any other town that did that, but they have a contract, I believe, with a florist. And every three days, they deliver this beautiful bouquet that sits in the in the female bathrooms. Now I asked Paul, I go, do you have flowers in there? And he's like, no. So um, it's just for the females. But this um, Tucson, and they're all over Tucson. Tucson, um, I do uh, I do praise Tucson often, and with good cause. Tucson, in many ways, not always, but in many ways, they have their act together. Okay. Oh, look. Look, I bought, I lost, I lost one of my cycle gloves. Um, I've had them for like four or five years. And I lost one of them. So this is a good price. Look at this. Oh, silica. There we go. We'll put it in there. It's absorb, absorb. Um, these are nice. I don't know what this is. What is this that's holding it all together? I do not understand this. Is this, you know, I hope they fit. Ooh, just barely. Well, they do fit though, but they're cool, huh? <laughs> and the gloves, yeah. It really protects my hands when I'm picking something up, but I have my hands free, so. Okay, I feel a little tight, I'm not sure. I may have to return these, these are too tight, I think. Just too tight. Yeah, it's a small, I wasn't sure probably have to return these oh well I'll keep this and I'll return them it's easy to return to Amazon I'll put them back in here there we go I think this is a return I'll order another another size okay what else do I got here oh I forgot I got this more this is dressing I forgot about this oh what am I gonna do with all my dressing here I got this creamy French I'm gonna try creamy French for a while yeah and there's uh 60 60 oh my gosh what am I gonna do with these and then this is for this is for Paul. He wanted me to order this for him. Air Force veteran. He's an Air Force veteran. Wants to put this on his. Yeah. We'll give that to him in a minute. I got a clothes steamer. And my Oakmos can handle this. I have a few things now that uh, might get wrinkled. So I want to make sure, and I know that Paul has a few things, when we want to get dressed up, that uh, there's a few things that might get wrinkled. Um, just because we're nomads don't mean we just, you know, always wear um, flannel shirts and jeans and stuff and hiking shoes and stuff. Um, we like to look nice. And like tomorrow we're all going to church, Obo Joe, we're all going to get nice dressed up and go to church. So... 
I wanted a steamer. I want to be able to take the wrinkles off. 